Hello my friends, sisters, brothers in Christ. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to get out of debt. And uh, the reason I record this video is because I know from my wife some of the uh, young people that I, that my wife is encountered with in the church. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, they're in debt. Young people, right out of high school, college, but they have enormous amount of debt. And uh, that's not a good sign. And most of the people would think if they would make more money, they'll be out of debt. They, most of the people treat debt as a financial problem. Well, debt is not a financial problem. If you always see it as a financial problem, you are not going to resolve that issue. Uh, many people thought I, if I would make more money or if I would make a fortune, then the debt would uh, disappear. And I can tell you most of the time that's not going to happen. And uh, if you treat debt as a financial issue, again, I said it again, if you treat it as a financial issue, you are not going to resolve the issue. Debt is not a financial issue. Debt is a habitual issue. It's a disease. You need to see it as a disease. Otherwise, and attack it like how you're going to attack a disease. Attack it like your enemy. Otherwise, you're not going to resolve the issue. Now, the, the history of America have proven the more money you make, the more ability you have to go into debt. Let me repeat that again. The more money you make, the more debt you have. That's really the American uh, culture and, and just the way that they are. Right after you graduate from high school, do you remember? You have you got a whole bunch of credit cards just right rushing to you. They just mail a whole bunch of credit cards to you and what are they doing? They're encouraging you to incur debt. <laughs> so the American unfortunately if you're bound by debt, you're you're most likely bound by materialism too. Because materialism leads you to debt. Now I'm gonna spend some time talk about how you can, if you start to see uh, debt as a disease, as your enemy, how do you attack it? How to resolve that issue? And uh, I'm, I'm going to have some subtitle on this video to demonstrate, but most of the people in America, in the American family, most of the family, they can find an extra $500 that they don't have to spend that they can either save or that they can save they can sell right on right off the warehouse uh, by, by selling on eBay they can always find an extra five hundred dollar that they don't have to spend now if you're single if you're single then you could find you could probably find uh, uh, another two hundred three hundred dollar that you don't have to spend a month now what do you do with that money let's say you have several credit cards you have a credit card that um, that you owe five hundred dollars. Another one, one hundred, uh, one thousand dollar. Another one, two thousand. Another one, five thousand. Let's say you have those credit cards. And most, of what does most of people do? They pay the minimum. Now you don't do that. Let's say you have family. Now you're able to find out five hundred dollar extra money that you don't have to spend a month. You attack your first credit card with a minimum payment of two hundred dollars, maybe twenty dollars. The first credit card that you owe five hundred dollars for, you attack it with the full amount, with all that five hundred dollars, and pay off that credit card the first month. Now, maybe you are paying a minimum payment of twenty dollars for your first credit card. Add that twenty dollars to your five hundred dollars, and start to attack the second credit card that owe which that that owes a thousand dollars. Now, it would take you another two months to finish that debt, to attack that debt. But two months later, you have, let's say you pay fifty dollars minimum payment for that one thousand uh, dollar credit card debt that you have. You add that fifty dollar to 
the $520 that you have is that's a total of $570 and attack your next credit card which is $2,000 and maybe with a minimum payment of 80 bucks but uh, it would take you four months to uh, another four months to finish and attack that debt and uh, and after that you have $570 plus $80 so that's $650 then use that $650 to attack the $5,000 um, credit card that you have that's going to take you another um, probably eight months or so to finish that debt. So that's the formula that you that you do to attack all the debt you have. Now, if you have mortgage, I would suggest that you don't stop. You know, after you pay off all your credit card, use that same amount to attack your mortgage, and you'll be debt free in about seven years. And uh, so that's the formula. Now, it, it sounds very easy, but it takes discipline and commitment to make that happen. And uh, it take, also takes prayer. Now, one thing that you're going to find out is that as you start to attack the debt, you are going to uh, find out that the Lord will start to bless you financially. Because now the Lord can trust you with more money. He knows that by you being a good steward over money and by your attitude of attacking the debt, somehow, somewhere, the Lord is going to stop, start to bless you financially so you have more money to attack those debt. You'll be, you, I wouldn't be surprised following that formula. Many people who follow that formula, they, they pay off all their debt within one year. Because they started to find out the Lord started to trust them with more money and they had more money to attack those debts. But if you don't start to attack those debts right now, the Lord is not going to trust you with more money because the Lord knows the more, the more money that you have is just going to destroy you. Just like the Egyptian, the, the uh, Israel, when they got so much gold, so much money out of Egypt, Look at what they did next. They destroyed themselves. They they melt those gold and form a cow and uh, start to worship that cow. That's that's the spirit of Baal. It's a it's a very demonic spirit. So instead of bringing blessing to the Israel, they bring a destruction of about what 20, 30 thousand die on that day. So instead of bringing blessing, he brought curse, he brought destruction. So if you are in debt, I can I can obviously pretty much tell you you are under the bondage of mammon, and uh, you can't serve the Lord and serve the mammon at the same time. So start to attack those debt and treat it like your enemy. It's really a spiritual enemy. Treat it like your enemy. Treat it like a disease. And, and you don't treat it like something that's disgusting that you just don't want any part of it in your life. And start attacking it. Okay? And I wish you all prosper as starting from young. And you're going to see if you are if you are dedicated to what, what, I, what I just show you. By the time you are you're 40, you're 50, you are going to be very powerful and influential over the territory that the Lord has given you. Either over a ministry or even over, over your life, your family, if you start to apply those rules. And I wish all, all the young people in our church prosper and have influences and dominion over wherever you are. What, we're over wherever the territory that the Lord has given you. It could be a company. It could be you are a, a employee or manager of a certain place. But all this, this is a testing ground for you. And to prove to the Lord, can the Lord trust you with more?